and you can get in contact with us at www.cubnlive.com. All right, what's on the CUBN news today? We got at least 120 dead in strong quake in that rocks central Italy overnight. Mm-mm-mm, Lord is pissed. Tell you that. For those that made it out, there are stories of miracles. Only God. Maria Gaani explained, the whole ceiling fell, but did not hit me. It was your angel protecting you, little missy. I just managed to put a pillow on my head, and I wasn't hit. I was an angel. Get it right. Central Italy, CBN News. At least 120 people updated are dead and hundreds injured after a strong earthquake rocked central Italy early this morning. The magnitude 6 quake hit especially hard in the tourist filled towns of Amatrice Am 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 and Akomoli. In the summer, vacationers seek out the region to escape the heat of Rome and other areas. A geologist in Poland says a slow but constant undersurface movement of the African plate toward Europe caused the quake. Jersey Saba of Saljan University says a wedge-shaped front of the plate is pressing into the er erosion plate, erosion plate, and pushing into regions like Italy. Rescuers are using shovels, bulldozers, and even their bare hands to dig out victims. For those that made it out, there are stories of miracles. Maria Gianni explained. The whole ceiling fell, but did not hit me. I was just managed to put a pillow on my head, and I wasn't hit. Amen to that. This latest quake is already being compared to one in 2009 that killed more than 300 people and struck just 50 miles to the south. Ladies and gentlemen, that is crazy. In Rome today, the Pope skipped his normal K-chism. C-A-T-E-C-H-I-S-M. K-chism. Lesson. And led pilgrims to prayer for the earthquake's victims. Meanwhile, rescuers are hoping to find as many survivors as possible and struggling to make sense of what happened. Reverend Savino D'Amelio, a priest in Amat and Amatrice said, We are living through this immense tragedy. I really don't know what to say. We are living through this tragedy. And we are only hoping there will be the fewest number of victims possible. And that we all have the courage to move on. Germany, France, and Israel have already volunteered to help Italy with rescue and rest recovery efforts. That could mean a great deal in the region that has literally changed overnight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just had at least 120 people dead in a quake and miracles that happened to them. Now, obviously, the Lord is working in mysterious ways that we just don't understand. It. We may think we know, but we just don't. Why is the Lord causing all the destruction to happen? Is He causing it to happen, or is it just happening by man made events? We don't know. We can only speculate. But all we can do right now is pray to the Lord Jesus Christ that everybody in that building needs to be where they at is with Him. I'm going to pray for this people.